What else do we got? Keyframes. <coughs> that is wonderful. Bup up, chickity check, chick check. All right. Da Vinci Resolve 20 is out. That's 20 more than we. So DaVinci Resolve 20 is actually a really, really big update and it could actually be the update that might pull a lot of people from Adobe because they actually offer a lot of things that Adobe has sort of flexed in the past. But now DaVinci Resolve is like, hey, we can do it too. The thing that I find with DaVinci is that they're kind of like Apple. They're not always the first ones to do it, but when they do do it, they kind of do it better. So I actually want to get into the top seven things that I'm really excited about. Right now, I think it's in open beta. So right off the bat, the top seven things that I'm actually really excited for, there's a new vertical timeline layout, which is like honestly so needed because I switch all the time from doing horizontal content to social media content. And just having like your own dedicated layout for vertical content is huge. Proper keyframe editing. Premiere has always had proper keyframe editing. After Effects has great keyframe editing. DaVinci Resolve keyframe editing has always been kind of kind of poopy. I'm really excited to try that. This is new AI dialogue matcher, which so if you film like a bunch of different things throughout the day, like you film it, say on like a microphone like this or like a DJI mic or, you know, your phone mic or whatever, it's supposed to match the tone, the level and the room environment of the dialogue. So being able to match the audio all together is like, it's awesome. And then there's also this AI music editor, which I think Premiere and uh, Audition already had it, but basically you can take any song or track and turn it into whatever length you want it. And it'll actually use AI to kind of like make the cuts at appropriate times and sort of fuse the music into like a cohesive song that's one minute. It's not just gonna like cut it together all weirdly. I like to do it myself, but to be honest, like I can see myself using this quite often. They have all these AI functions, like, you know, that's just the world we live in now, but you know, hate it or love it. I think what I really like about DaVinci and like, you know, what Blad Magic is doing is that they're not really taking the art form away from the creator. They're sort of just enabling the creator more. Like they're not just being like, hey, I'm gonna replace your job. I'm gonna do it all for you. It's like, hey, I'm gonna help you out. I'm gonna help you do things that maybe take a little bit more time or like, I wanna help you save some time. You can now animate subtitles that are great for social media, you know, cause usually the ones on social media or the ones on CapCut are like, they're okay. Now you can kind of go in and tweak every little thing about the subtitles, you know, change the colors, change the size, change the highlights and all that stuff. So I'm actually really looking forward to trying that out. I'm really looking forward to the AI Magic Mask too because I really like the Magic Mask, but it was a little glitchy and it didn't work all the time. So I'm kind of excited to try and try that out and see, you know, what you can make from that. And then there's also the AI Super Scale, which is great. I kind of found that the Super Scale on the regular thing, it wasn't amazing. And it also just like made your computer chug. Like it, it just wasn't, I never used it. I don't know. You know, what I like about Black Magic is that they give you so many different options of how to do it. So now they even came up with this thing called Chroma Color Warp, and this thing looks super cool. So while these things are downloading, I just want to tell you quickly about the sponsor of this video, me. If you haven't seen them yet, I create LUTs and I have some LUTs for Sony. So I have a Sony LUT that's pretty much supposed to just make everything look natural. It's nothing that's really going to like look unnatural. That's just what I'm trying to say. So I tried to really make sure that the colors do really well within natural scenes. Also just giving you like, you know, good looking skin tones. If you have an 8-bit camera from Sony, like the a7 III, I also have a free LUT in there too. So if you want to go check out my LUTs, they are in the description down below. Here's the thing, I'm not 100% sure what all of these features are included on the free version as opposed to the studio version because I've been using the studio version for like a couple years now. So I'm just kind of used to getting all the features. Okay, so the first thing I actually noticed was the DaVinci Resolve logo now has a little white like halo or stroke around it. What's new in DaVinci Resolve 20? Keyframe editor, let's go. AI IntelliScript, use a script to automatically create timelines with matching takes. AI Magic Mask 2, that's the one we're excited about. Great, you're ready to start. There's this other one and it's kind of like, it's one of those, you know, it's like AI slop where they just, they wanted to do it because other people are doing it. And it's the one where you, you know, you have a vertical video and then you can extend it using AI by generating it. And that's cool, but 
I'm probably not going to use that because I'm stubborn. So this is a public beta, so I, I don't know how stable it's going to be. But I'm also going to edit this entire video using DaVinci Resolve 20, so we'll see how that goes. There's some things I'm already noticing. I noticed that this little uh, timestamp thing is now this red little guy. Um, what else do we got? Keyframes. That is wonderful. So I do a lot of keyframing, especially in dance videos. So this is gonna be nice. This is gonna be great. Look at all the things you can do. Like they have everything, speed, cropping, they have everything, transform, rotation angle, all that stuff. So I think anytime you make a keyframe edit over here, uh, you can edit it over here. Oh, that's nice. That's pretty sick. Okay, before you would have to go down to the project settings and then you'd go up here, change this, find the right one. It looks like they have those settings right up there. Okay, so you can go ultra HD, boom, full HD, boom, portrait. Ooh. So being able to go up here and switch over to vertical just like that, boom. So nice. Oh, I love that it just automatically changes everything. That's awesome. Okay, that, I love that. That's awesome. And you got the whole bin right there. You can see everything. That is wonderful. Ultra HD, boom, we're back. <laughs> oh, I love features like that. I, anyways, I can just be right here and then I can be like, bam, vertical. You know what I'm saying? And then if I really want to, I can be like, bam, we're back. Bam, vertical, bam. Okay, so anyways, um, that's great. <laughs> now let's just add some keyframes just for just for fun. So I'm gonna be like this, I'm over here. I'm gonna move in like that. I love this little guy. If you come down here, you can click that and you can move it. So I'm gonna go, maybe go like that. Add some keyframes to the position and the zoom. So as I walk off, I'm gonna move it like that. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, so the keyframes used to be in here. When you click this, and then you'd be able to see all the keyframes. But now they seem to be all up here. So if I go up here, I can see all the keyframes. So then as I'm coming forward, I'm gonna go right there, view that, and I'm gonna zoom out a bit. Not too much. Boom, just like that. So now you can also, I'm guessing you can grab all of these guys and ease them. How would I ease them? Okay, so if I wanna ease these guys, how do I do that? Okay, okay, okay. Nice, so that's cool. So you can also see, you can see the keyframes down here, which is sick. Okay, so these are the keyframes that you're using, that's great. So I wanna grab these guys, can I ease them though? Maybe I have to, okay, cool. Uh, that doesn't work, do I do here? Okay, I can ease in, ease in and out. Um, I have to do it one at a time though. So DaVinci, if you're listening, please allow us to go down here and right click these and allow them to ease because that would be that would be really helpful. I'm gonna come out. I'm gonna grab these two. Just right there. We got the keyframes down here. I love it. You can see them. It's nice and easy. You can see exactly what you're doing. That's great. Boom. Bam. Oh, where's he going? Is he gonna go? Oh, is he gonna go to the left? Bam, bam, bam. Ooh, there's a voice up. Oh, okay, that's nice. I can choose my iPhone microphone, it turns on automatically. So if you really wanted to, you can just, you can use your MacBook microphone or plug a microphone into your Mac or your computer and use that to create voiceovers. Like, it's crazy. All right, so I'm just dancing right now. I'm showing off my waves, you know, I'm just craziest stuff going on right now. This is how I keyframe. Obviously that sounded like poop. Especially if you're making short form content, that just makes everything so much easier. That's great, guys. I'm finding out all these new things like as we go. This is actually super exciting. I was like, I'm gonna do my top seven most exciting things, but I've already found like 15 of them. So that's great. The AI music editor. Okay, this one is interesting. Okay, so I have this song. Let's see how this works. I am not being paid by DaVinci Resolve or Blackmagic, whatever, I promise. I'm legitimately just excited about this stuff. This video, this right here, I wanna make this thing shorter. How do I do that? Um, I'm guessing you have to go, guys, I'm so stupid. I literally just downloaded the regular free version 
instead of the studio version. So, Ooh. yeah. <laughs> that's why I couldn't find the AI music editor. I was like, where the heck is it? But that's actually really um, exciting news. All of those features that I just showed up until the AI stuff, it's all free. It's in there. That actually kind of blows my mind. Okay, here we go. AI music editor is there now. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on. Live trim. Okay, that's, an, that's nice. So if I want it to be one minute long, I'll just go to like the one minute mark, I guess. And then I will live trim it down to there. And let's see what happens. Okay. So what happened was you can kind of see the cut marks, I guess, and then where it sort of adjusted it. I think what you can do is you can adjust it. So there's three different versions. So let's just kind of listen to the first version. Three. A little weird. So maybe we can try number two. I, you know, it's all right. You know what? It actually, it works okay. I feel like you're gonna have to really play around with this to kind of get what you want. But for the most part, it actually, it's okay. I'm sure they'll keep adjusting it and making it better. So that is the AI music adjuster. Very cool. Okay, so I've actually been taking my dialogue and then going into Adobe Podcast. They have this really good AI function that you can use to sort of enhance the speech. It feels like DaVinci Resolve is trying to do all of that. Now you can actually have your own really nice voice isolation. So I've been making content for like, I don't know, five years and I have never really known what it means, if I'm completely honest but I'm getting the question more and more these days from other creators. That's really nice. And it actually, it doesn't really add too much. Like it doesn't really make the program chug. Cause I feel like a lot of these AI things can do that. Music remixer. But I'm getting the question more and more. Whoa, hold on a second. Okay, so if I just take this song. Mute voice. That is really cool. That's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. That's actually really sick. I didn't even, I wasn't even expecting that one to just slap so hard. These are pretty cool. These are pretty awesome tools. I don't know. I just, I could see myself playing around with these a lot. Let's go back to, bam. Oh, I love that. AI magic mask. Let's see if I can play around with this guy. So this is the magic mask. Uh, now it's the AI Magic Mask 2. So let's see. Uh, I want it to be better, obviously. I notice it doesn't really give you an option to choose a person anymore, so that's fine. Let's just pick me. Oh, interesting. Oh, it's not like a draw anymore. It's like a... Okay, so I can pick points, I guess. I don't know what this is doing. I guess if we turn this guy on, it should pick me out pretty well. Okay, that I... Wow. Okay, it, it actually picked like the individual hairs. That's kind of crazy. A little off right there, but that's okay. This feels pretty heavy. I wonder if this is going to be like pretty tough. That is incredibly good. So now if I invert it, if I want to, I can just like, I can just like adjust the, the levels of everything else. Like that's pretty cool. I'm very impressed by that. That's pretty awesome. We got this right here. There's lots of color. So this is a new way of sort of like changing the colors. So this is kind of like the, the new color warps. When you're like hovering over a color, you can see it down there. It's, it's, it's fixing on the color that you're on. So if I click that, come down here and I guess change that color to whatever you want. So say if I want, if, if I want to make it like a green truck, but it's also affecting a lot of different things. The chroma range. So that will kind of just like only choose that color and around it. And then they also have the AI magic, what do you call it? The super scale, AI super scale. Let's make it four times enhanced. Yeah, it's essentially just like adding sharpness so you don't really get as much compression. I guess if you, you know, you wanna watch it on like a 4K or 8K TV. I think that there's so many different features within DaVinci Resolve 20 that I'm gonna be playing around with like for a long time. I'm really, really pumped. I'm especially really pumped about being able to change to portrait mode just like that. Like that's so sick. And then all of these AI tools, like, you know, like the music remixer, the keyframes. Oh, the, I'm so happy it has keyframes now. Like that's, that makes me so happy. Yeah. If you're interested in more content like this, if you're interested in learning more about film and, you know, like video production and 
a little bit of dance here and there and all this stuff, be sure to hit the subscribe button and yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later. Mm -hmm.